Good afternoon students. Greeting all the 6th standard Javanians for the science class. Last week that is 15, 7, 20, 20. We learned unit 1 measurements part 1. Under this heading we learn about measurement, definition for measurement, then length, mass, volume, time etc. Next we learn about SI units that is measurement and some of the SI units you learn. Then learn about length, how to measure length of a curved line. Again the corrective measures for measuring length. Today we are going to learn about the next topic that is mass and we are going to learn about mass and weight then time and the last one that is volume first let us learn about mass and weight mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object weight is the gravitational pull experienced by matter the differences between mass and weight mass is amount of matter in an object Weight is gravitational pull experienced by the mass. Next one. Measuring instrument is beam balance. If you want to measure the mass, we are using an instrument called beam balance. Measuring instrument is electronic balance. That is all we learn afterwards. This is if you want to know the accurate weight of an object. We are using the instrument electronic balance. Hold a sheet of paper in one hand and a book in another. Which hand feels the heaviness? The mass of the book is more than that of the single sheet of paper. Therefore, the pull on the book is more than that of the paper. Hence, our hand has to give more force to hold a book than a paper force. What we experience is called as heaviness. The weight is directly proportional to the mass on the earth's surface. On moon, where the gravitational force is lesser than earth, the weight will reduce but the mass will remain the same. The moon's gravitational pull is one-sixth of the earth's pull. Thus, objects weigh six times lighter on the moon than on the earth. The SA unit of mass is kilogram. It is represented by kg. Weight of a bag is expressed in kilogram. Bigger weights are measured in ton or metric ton. Now let us run the units. 1000 milligram is equal to 1 gram. 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. 1000 kilogram is equal to 1 ton. Now let us learn about measuring instruments. Two instruments we are going to learn. One is beam balance. Another one is electronic balance. Beam balance. Look at the picture. You can be able to know what is beam balance. We use beam balances to measure mass. A beam balance works by comparing the mass of an object to that of known mass called a standard mass. The next one, electronic balance. An electronic balance is a device used to find accurate measurements of weight. Accurate means the correct. It is used very commonly in laboratories for weighing chemicals to ensure a precise measurement of those chemicals for use in various experiments. Electronic balances may also be used to weigh food, other grocery items as well as jewelry the next topic we are going to learn that is time the definition for time is period between two events 
is called time. Clocks are used to measure time. In a clock, there are three hands. One shows hour, another one shows minute, another one shows the second. These are the three hands are there. The ancient, that is one tab tabulation, the units of time, 60 seconds make one minute, 60 minutes make one hour, 24 hours make one day. Ancient instruments to measure time. In ancient time, people are using sundial or sand clock to measure time. In earlier days, people used sand clock and sundial to measure the passage of time during the day. The shadow caused by a stick can be used to estimate time. One can also use a vessel with a small hole for computing time. Take a vessel or bottle with a small hole in it and fill it with water. The time taken for water to drain can also be used as a measure device. These are rough methods for counting passage of time. We can use electronic clock, stopwatch and other instruments to count even smaller duration of time. Smaller duration of time can be calculated by using electronic clock or stopwatch etc. Digital watch and all will be used to know the small duration of time. That picture is given here. One is stopwatch and the one is digital or electronic clock. Next we are going to learn about volume. The definition for volume is space occupied by an object is called volume. Space occupied by an object is called volume. The SI unit of volume is liter or cubic meter. Measuring jaws are used to measure the volume of liquid. 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter. Now, the assignment is list the SI unit of mass, time and volume. Then write the difference between mass and weight. Then the third question is name the following. Instrument used to measure mass. Again, instrument used to measure time. Then instrument used to measure volume. These are the answers also you have to write. Once again, I will recap today's lesson. This class we learn about mass and weight then unit of mass difference between mass and weight next what is beam balance then one next one is electronic balance if you want to find the accurate measurement we have to use only electronic balance next about time for that we have to use clock what are the instruments used in ancient days what type of clocks we are using in modern days. Next, about volume. Volume unit we learn, definition we learn. Then what, are, what is the instrument we are using to measure volume. All these we learn. With this, the lesson got over. You find out the answers for these questions and note down in your notebook. No student should use the new notebook until we give the instructions. You have to follow the old method. You get a notebook. Write down all the answers in there. I hope you are all enjoy this class. Thank you students. Bye.